Hi there, and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Suzanne Bryan, and this part is part of the instructional series in a tutorial that I have for sale on Ravelry called Lacework, a skill building tutorial. There will be a link down in the description so you can get a copy if you wish. In this particular video, I'm going to discuss some basic things that you need to know for knitting lace in the round. And we're starting by looking at a chart. In this chart, you will notice that all of the numbers for the rows, the row numbers, are on the right side of the work. This indicates that each row will start from the right and work to the left, which tells you that it has to be knit in the round. If half the numbers were over here and the other half here, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, that tells you that it would be knit flat. Row 1, row 2, row 3, row 4. That is the only change that you'll notice between a chart for knitting flat and a chart knitting in the round. Without the numbers, the chart is exactly the same. It represents the right side of the fabric. So when you go from knitting flat to knitting in the round, you can use any chart. Any charted design can be worked either flat or in the round, and you would just use the numbers all on the right side for knitting flat and dividing them half and half for, I mean, all on the right side for knitting in the round and dividing them half and half for knitting flat. So this particular little chart is 12 stitches wide. And so if we were going to knit in the round, depending on how many stitches that we have in our work, we would most likely have a multiple of 12. In this example, we're going to have 144 stitches in this little pie shawl that we're making, and that is a multiple of 12. We know that 12 goes into 144 evenly. So we're going to put a marker in our work at the beginning of stitch one. So every time we come to the first column, not the row, not this one, but this one right here, we're going to put a marker where this line is so that we can see every 12 stitches. And I've done that on my work here. This is this little chart being worked, and you can see I have a marker right here. This would be stitch one of the next set of 12. So we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. And then over here we have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and another marker. Now I'm working on two circular needles, so you really can't put a marker here at the beginning. It would just fall off. So what I do is I just mark my work at the beginning of the round and I might move this up every few inches or so. So we would work the chart. We're actually ready to work row 18 on this chart right now. So I know that I would knit one and then I would knit two together, knit three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit four, and then an, I'm knit three and then an SSK. So let's do that again. Let's make this a little bit bigger and move up this way. So we have, we're going to work row 18. We would have knit one, knit two together, knit three. Here's our center stitch right here. Yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, SSK, and here is the marker. So let's do that. And I'll show you how I slip the markers too. So we're knitting one, knit two together, knit three, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit three, and SSK. Now if I came up to my SSK and 
the marker wasn't there, or there was not enough stitches, or one too many, I would know that there was a mistake somewhere in here. So at this point, I slip the marker over to the right. Let's see, it was on the left. So you just slip it point to point to the right, and I would work the next 12 stitches. Then I would come up and do round 19. So I'm going to pause the video for a second and work around to the beginning here and show you how I count to make sure everything is correct. Okay, here we are back again, and we're ready to do row 19, which is just knitting all the way around. But this is the round that I used to make sure I didn't make a mistake in the previous round, and I do this every time I do a plain round. I count. So between the end of my needle and this first marker, there should be 12 stitches. If there's not, then I know there's a mistake in this little section right here, and I can focus on fixing it. So I'm just going to count as I work across to the marker, and I count 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so we know, wow, cool, no mistakes there. Now I'm gonna drop a stitch off this next one. I'll drop one of the yarn overs off and show you how I fix that. I'll be back in just okay. a second. So this section there will be a mistake. Let's see how we figure that out. So we're counting one, two, whoops, we dropped a stitch. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oops, there's a problem. We only have eleven stitches. So, how do we find it? We have to look at the chart. We're going to look at this chart. Row 18 was our last worked row, and we know there's a knit. So let's look and see what we have. There's a knit. Here's our knit. Then there should be a knit two together. There's our knit two together. Three knits. One, two, three. We've got those. A yarn over. There's the yarn over. A knit. A knit. A yarn over. Oops. We're missing a yarn over. And that's the most frequent thing that happens in mistakes in knitting is leaving out a yarn over. You can also just look at your work here. Let's put it on the black surface. It might be easier to see. Yes. Okay, so we're looking at this and we see there's one, two, three, four holes on this side and there's one two three whoops we're missing one over here that's our missing yarn over right in there so we're just going to back up we're going to tink four stitches back that means a knit tink is knit spelled backwards I'm going to go back four and we're just going to lift this bar. This is where the yarn over should have been, right here. We're going to put it up onto the needle. That's our yarn over. Knit it. And then carry on. And now we'll have 12 stitches. And we'll look at our work again to see if we've got that hole there, the eyelet. Okay, let's see. And we do. It's right there. We have, I'm stretching it down a little bit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Right there is that eyelet. So that's why you want to use markers, not just to keep place between the segments of the, the multiples of the pattern, but also to help you figure out where your mistakes are. So this is just one in a series of uh, lace videos for this tutorial.
I also have one on dropping down a whole section of the 12 stitches and fixing a mistake down here and working it back up and a variety of other videos uh, including blocking lace. I hope you join me back here soon to watch the other videos. I hope you subscribe to my channel. The biggest compliment you can pay me is subscribing to my channel, giving me a thumbs up down there, and sharing my videos with your friends. I also have a group on Ravelry that you can join. There'll be a link in the description as well as a group on Facebook and I would love it if you would join me in those groups. We do lots of fun things and we love learning about knitting. So happy knitting and come back and see me soon.